No, thank Can you. we talk about power outages? Let's do That's it. a good question. You know what? Power no. outages. What happens if you have a power outage? Who wants to I answer it. first? I just had one. Well, That's why I'm excited to talk about this. Well, one. Like, go ahead first. You, yeah, typically, uh, this is a good question because you, you, you have to scramble. Um, most of the time, you know, uh, I, I don't know the power is out during the night because I'm sleeping. So a lot of the times I find the power is out during the day. And if that's the case, I'll take all my plants out of the garden and go put them in like a living room or something where they'll like take in some sunlight and so on and so forth. Um, if that's not the case, cause I'm in a tent, it is what it is, man. Uh, I can't, I'm not going to go start lighting candles in there to keep the photon or the, uh, the, uh, cells active and so on and so forth. So yeah, that'd be aggressive. Just play it out. Yeah. A uh, generator is an amazing thing to get, especially country bunking. Boy, you should have a generator by now, P. She... I'm not as country bunking as you think I am. Over here. Yeah. On my main, my main, my electric spot. truck powers my home. Yeah. <laughs> See, in, uh, in my little spot, you can get a small, um, generator too. So I've just got a little small one. That's a little stash one that'll just run the lights if I need in the fans. Um, but then there's also, you know, uh, just saying screw it <laughs> and running out you know a lot of people have done that too and then they'll have three four days depending on the storms if you've got regular soil and you've just fed your plants and they've had time i've seen two three days with no electricity the plants bouncing back but if you've got something that's automated and or like prime example would be hydroponics you got dwc and that water is not moving for days that's going to be an issue so it really depends on what you're running if you can sacrifice not buying a generator it just, I guess, depends on what you're doing. But I would recommend right away, if you don't live in the, like a big city, get a generator. And even if you do, you can get small ones that are like right outside your crib too. Just running for certain things, not your whole house. I don't have a generator. I actually, the power went out two days ago here. And uh, like P says, you're scrambling at that point. You're trying to figure out, you know, what, what do you do type thing. And uh, so I, first of all, it, the power went out right as my lights were about to come on. Okay, so basically, I'm just ex I just extended my dark period, which is probably the best solution, right? I, I think it would be a lot worse if your lights were on for six hours, you have a power outage for an hour or two, and then your lights come back on for the remainder of the cycle. It said that plants are more likely to herm in that situation, but fortunately for me, it was right as the lights were supposed to come on, they just didn't come on, and so uh, that's okay. But one thing I noticed is that the humidity spikes. You know, and like and no fans, right? So you don't have any power. No fans are going on, so you're not exchanging that air anymore, and you're not you don't have your oscillating fan going on anymore. So once those plants are transpiring and that humidity is arising in that grow tent, well, prime prime for uh, bud rot, powdery mildew, right? You, you're really at risk for that stuff. So what I do is I open up my grow tent, immediately open it up, kind of use the flap of the grow tent to fan everything out, and then. Um, and then just pray, <laughs> pray that, uh, that they don't actually get it, it you know, expand it to my whole room. I have, I'm a 12 by nine room. So, um, the humidity dropped down to, I believe it was about 50%. So I was okay at that point, but yeah, I don't have a generator. I was looking, I was researching after this. I was like, okay, I should probably get one. So, uh, the power banks too, they have these huge power banks. A lot of people use them for camping and stuff. Some of me actually plug solar power, uh, solar panels into it, which is kind of cool. But uh, I was looking at power banks. They, they can be pricey. And how long do they really last? You just got to kind of do the math. Okay, for this $300 power bank, how long will that last in my grow room, you know, with the light on, you know, 400, 500 watts, whatever you have? Maybe it wouldn't even be worth it, you know, on those power banks. Maybe a generator would be a lot better. So um, yeah, I'm not really sure. Everything, was a little over $1,000. Okay. Everything is susceptible to something. So yeah, your power bank is susceptible to electricity, but your generator is susceptible to a fuel supply. And I don't know about you guys in America, but in Canada, we've had fuel shortages. We've had it where there's signs on the pump that says there's no fuel here. So you are SOL. So yeah, being able to be self-sufficient, be able to react and use what, what's available around you is very important. So yeah, you know what? You, you you could probably get off if you're not going to have power for days. You're going to have to get that plant out of the room that it's in, and you're going to have to get it exposed to the sun. And you're going to have to do some work, you know. And and you're going to be thankful though that you're going to have something to 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 kind of do. Um, it's not going to be the best, 
result. You could try to take it outside, you know, depending, you know, I can't do that right now. It's minus 15 degrees Canadian. So that's not an option. It would be putting this massive plant in my living room and then getting it out of there at nighttime so I could keep that 12 and 12. It's not ideal, but that's got to work with what you got. It's a good question. This FTS clip was brought to you by AC Infinity, leaders in garden innovation. Use discount code the stash 15 at checkout to save some money on your order. From the Stash Podcast.